What do you mean why? Are, are you like like on average, right? How many hours of sleep do you usually get? Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> it's never enough. That's, that's the life we chose, man. That is. That is you the know, life we, of a West Coast trader. We do it for the kids too. I mean, all right, St. John. <laughs> 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to Daddy Biz, your trade idea show hosted by yours truly, The Trading Daddies. I am your host, The Master Crayon Eater, and as always, my amazing co-host. What is going on? St. Teflon, John. St. Teflon. Teflon. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you can also Saint be called Teflon. Tef Daddy because you do it for the kids. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh man, how was your day, dude? Today was a wild day. We saw uh, you know, Amazon and Apple bring down the markets. Tomorrow's gonna be interesting. Tomorrow's yep. gonna be very interesting. Two very of interesting. the biggest caps are taking a, a dumpy de dump. Yeah. So the entire market will be affected by this. Tomorrow yep. is also zero DTE. Fridays, a lot of a lot of people try to sell off their positions. Um, this might give me another entry to Lucid. I'm kind of excited about this, but we'll talk about this um, in a bit, right? So, if you guys don't know what we're talking about and want to learn more, make sure you guys hit up our friends over at Bust Down Academy, BustDownInvestments.com. Selling too soon before the stock goes on a rocket will leave a void in your pocket. Bust Down Academy, Bust Down Investments. That was creative. Yeah. That was creative. Hey, Give hey, that a hey, nine, yo. Give that hey, a nine. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Also, don't forget one. to hit the subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, give us a nice preemptive thumbs up because Jonathan gave us a thumbs down. Your mama is up. A full one. Drop down in the comment section below the stocks you guys want us to cover. And with that being said, let's get to it after this banging intro. Hold on, man. I, I just want to let you know. <laughs> I just remembered Jay posted a, uh, a today was a good day in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why there's this white guy in the background in full garb. That was that was that was more confusing to me because all right, I as, was confused because as, yeah. as an immigrant, right in the Philippines, hip hop culture is like pretty like it's big right there's there's yeah. a lot of emulation that we do because it's it's people we look up to right um yeah. as i was leaving manila in 2002 2003 that's when like hip hop was starting to pick up in like the underground of of the city right mm -hmm. and now it, it's a full blown thing like there's filipino trap now i've i've heard Right? Really? And yeah, the Filipino trap now. Look, uh, I mean, all over Southeast Asia, hip hop is is a very big force. Take a look at Korea, right? South Korean rappers, great, right? Mm -hmm. You have Japanese rappers like Ko, amazing rappers, like great artists. You have uh, Rich Brian from Indonesia, great lyricist, amazing rapper, right? And I've heard some Chinese rap too. It's it's pretty good, right? To hear to hear this art form in different languages is a beautiful thing. But that video that I saw earlier with a random white guy in the back in a puffy coat, like looking like Puff 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 Papa, <laughs> while 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 two Chinese rappers are rapping their own version of "Today Is a Good Day," was very suspect. <laughs> Fucking Jay was very suspect. Oh man, that was so much fun goes on in in our in our, in our chat room. So. It's just too funny. Actually, it's part of the member page. So let's get to some member games. It's got it's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get to some member games. Today was a today was definitely a good day. Today was definitely a really good day, but not as good. I'll explain to you guys that uh, more in a bit. Uh, Andrew with some Tesla, one minute swing from last night. Solid move, 10 bands. Uh, Bruce with some nice QQQ calls. Um, knowledge 
hit them, hit them with some Myrna, hit them with some apple. I managed to squeeze away some uh, 25 Hano on some Lucid calls. Ruel hit some hit some Lucid earlier. What a great way to, to start your, your Thursday and make your week, right? Make up your week. I think he's back in it. In it. Um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Today was a good day, right? She bangs. She bangs. Knowledge hit uh, hit four more lucid. Some <laughs> apple. Jay Spees. Shout out to the captain himself with uh, with some uh, some Facebook, PayPal. Facebook was a monster today. Mm-hmm. Facebook was. A, we'll talk about that. Facebook uh, came maybe back. Maybe on. Um, on 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 Saturday, just for those who don't know, they're changing their name from Facebook to Metaverse. They're gonna be Metaverse. They're now a um uh, a gaming company. <laughs> Metaverse. Metaverse. Rada hit Confusing. some Lucid. Good stuff. Lucid. Um, you hit MBIS. I, I know. Is it? Are you still in this? Yeah, I told you oh, we're God. gonna play the earnings. Oh God. Oh, I my, lost everything. My, my, my stomach hurts for you. My <laughs> stomach hurts for you so much. You took when's your expiration date? Uh, next week. Oh, uh, next week. It might recover. You never know. Let's see what happens tomorrow, right? Yeah. Um, I might do the same thing for Apple. Uh, but that's pretty much it for member gains. The first stock that we want to cover today is Lucid. I am upset right now, John. I am extremely upset because I followed my trade rules. Right, but I made a mistake by not following a subset of my trade rules. So, as a trader, you have your own, your main trade rules, right? Like stuff that you really follow to a T. And then you also have audibles. Think of it as uh, as an audible when when uh, Peyton Manning is front uh, under center and he sees something else, right? And he sees something else on the chart. He or see something else on the secondary, and he says, you know, he hits him with a nice Omaha five times, and then the play definitely changes. <laughs> so I didn't pull my audible fast enough, and I kind of got caught uh, leaving some money off the on the table there. So uh, my position could have been around twelve thousand dollars. Hey, what if this is a second pump? What do you mean? There's a second pump to this? No, what if this is a second pump? Like, zoom out. Zoom out from when it was... Um... Oh, this is a second pump? Possible. Mm-hmm. Possible. There's still more. There's still more. Okay, so this is this is the reason why I, I took the, some money off, uh, off, uh, off the table. Because of this massive candle that I saw uh, pre-market, right? So if we go to the hourly, if we take a look at today's action, I saw this massive move... Um, after our uh, pre-market, right? Because we ended up closing yesterday around 26.77, right? And we I saw it move on the first hour to like 29.49. So right there, I was already getting ready to, to take an exit at 30 bucks because I had a feeling that at $30, the market makers are probably going to stomp it down so that it could not, it could stop running and then they won't have to do any type of gamma squeezes until after the deliveries are done. That was my ideal situation, okay? The thing that I did not calculate for was I sold off right away instead of leaving some runners on the table. Yeah. I should have left some runners on the table because after I sold off at 30, 31, it shoots up to 39, 78 before ultimately slamming down because, you know, obviously once uh, the theory is once it pierces above a Bollinger Band, it always retraces back like clockwork. That's what happened today, right? Uh, We are also now seeing some uh, staying above the nine, right? If it stays above the nine, shout out to El Shami. It stays above the nine, you'll be fine. Yeah. So this might be a a potential um, entry again tomorrow. It did not get affected by Apple or um, Apple or Amazon. So there's still more to this growth story, and people are still betting that this could move higher on uh, until Monday, until after the deliveries are done. So I'm still fairly bullish. I just needed to take some money off the table, not the money that I that I will like, but. Profit is green is green, and I still think that there's more to it. It might see some, uh, you know, what ideal tomorrow. I want this to flush a little bit more 
maybe below $30, right? If I could get this below $30, I'm back in it, right? Um, and hoping that we might see some um, some uh, downward pressure so that the market makers don't have to, you know, pump it to give us better entries. John, what's your take? Man, great job. That's it. That's all I can tell you. I tried. I tried. Would have never saw that. Yeah. I tried. So um, again, this is all about planning when you're doing your trades, right? And it's throwing an audible in there just to cover yourself and to to have a little fun because you know giving yourself other options rather than just buying or selling keeps everything light, right? Um, the next stock that we want to cover, oh god, what a dump! Amazon. <laughs> so Amazon missed. They missed. Big. That's weird. Didn't they miss uh, last quarter too? Too? Yeah, they missed last quarter too. Supply yeah, chain. Yeah, they've been missing that. Mm -hmm. They really have been. Yeah. They, they, so Amazon. Uh, let's go back to uh, when it last reported earnings. Last time I reported earnings, it took a fall from three sixty eight, three sixty four yeah. eighty one, all the way to three thirty two, and it never got out of that range. We did see uh, almost a gap fill, but it faded away. Um, I, I mean, Amazon is still How a great big company. How big was that? Me wrong. It was a, um, wasn't it almost like a 10% move? Yeah. And even like at that big dump from last quarter, their their EPS was like $15. Now their EPS is way below, which is only six twelve. But the interesting part is uh, it is it flushed after hours from three seventy uh three thirty four seven i'm not i'm not used to seeing stock prices that are four digits thirty four seventy nine all the way down to three thousand three hundred and thirty three so a hundred point move uh damn near a hundred point move on uh amazon after hours to the downside so we will open up tomorrow right around right around here yeah right what's your take yeah for for this one it sucks because if you were in uh in amazon if you had calls on this one um Dead. obviously your calls are destroyed right but Dead. Co come to think of it amazon really is a slow mover so if your calls are dead i mean they're i don't think they're going to recover because last time it dropped uh last quarter okay it took how long for it to recover here it i mean it's still one. trying to yeah, the gap never got filled. Mm -mm. So uh, for this one right here, I, I don't know. I, I I've never shorted Amazon before. I wouldn't. It's so but hard. It, yeah, for this one right here, obviously it's going to gap down tomorrow. And needless to say, you know, Apple uh, wasn't doing so well either. You know, after hours. So most likely this is going to come down even more. Uh, probably finish. You know, the the week in the red. Um, this might have some continuation next week, but it sucks because today's candle was very was promising. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was very promising. I mean, it's it's holding uh, support. It's holding the nine. The the twenty was about to cross the fifty, and it's above just the one hundred. Yeah, off. Yeah, it just, exactly. So mm -hmm. the momentum got killed on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so it's going to create a different up. range. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that's that's whatever. I mean, I don't trade Amazon anymore. So no, it's hard to trade yeah. Amazon right now. Um, the next stock that we want to cover is Apple. Good Lord, John. Apple was annoying. Apple, check this out. They missed. Rare okay. miss. Break. Very much so. Very rare, right? We had uh, a, 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 we had a pretty solid like rounding bottom starting. Mm -hmm. Right? It started to look really, really and good. Yeah, rug pulled. Rug pulled and, by yeah. what, three? Three mm percent. -hmm. That's crazy. How you've never you never really see Apple drop about three to four percent, uh, especially after hours, because they normally beat. So they, yeah, this they normally do. runs and gaps up, right? But today was a different case. Um, they missed sales on this one, and I don't know the the, mom the momentum got killed on this one. I was kind of wary. That's why I didn't want to play it, but instead I played um, Microvision. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, for this one right here, the the chart. Uh, obviously, we're going to open around 147-ish. Um, this is, I mean, it has a chance to open at the 20, mm -hmm. but, you know, the momentum got killed on this one. Yeah, we might trade uh, zero DTE on this one. Zero DTE, boys, assemble! 
yeah, you, you, we can probably squeeze like a dollar out of this one tomorrow easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah I see that's that my too. take. I see that. 148. They're going to be it's hella cheap. Premiums are going to be hella cheap tomorrow. We might yeah. even try to get some QQQ puts in tomorrow. Yeah. it's That's pretty. QQQ puts tomorrow look pretty. So um, yeah. I, that's that's my trade plan for tomorrow. I'm going to ride this momentum downwards. Um, might as well get some uh, three times leverage on some ETFs. Get to get some accelerated gains because we both we trade both both directions on the channel and the whole team does too. So uh, if you guys haven't yet, that's pretty much it for the show. If you guys want to learn how to trade both ways, make sure you guys hit up our friends over at Bust Down Academy, BustDownInvestments.com. New to trading, don't know where to start, just want to join a group of active traders that have your best interests at heart. Make sure you guys hit up our friends over at Bust Down Academy, BustDownInvestments.com. Also, if you guys want to get entertained and see some great funny financial memes make sure that you guys follow us on all our social media follow me at trading poppy follow john at john c trades trading daddies.com for all your news your merch shiba hodl crew neck shirts are now live on the store also the store. hats are about to drop store about the drops are the, the drops are about the hats soon the hats are about to drop the hats soon. are about to drop shun shun <laughs> right. Uh, also, the Evergrande risk uh, risk management department sh- uh, sweatshirt is also <laughs> on there. <laughs> and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, give us a nice thumbs up because John, your mom is up. Oh man, pretty. Drop down in the comment section below the stocks you guys want us to cover. And with that being said, let's get mm. training, guys. And remember that the charts mm. do not lie. Mm-mm-mm.